guys. Sorry, I just even bumped the table. Not even a minute into the video. So this is Outdoors Exclusives, and today I wanted to take a look at a really awesome zero tolerance knife, the 0055. This one has the spring-loaded tab. Um, really nice machine to uh, titanium handle scales. This really nice blue anodized backspacer. I believe this is aluminum, not G10. And it has this really interesting spring-loaded tab from GTC knives. So you can either like pull it back and pop it out like that. And it is on KVT ball bearings, or you can do it in one fluid motion. Um, it has some custom pivot work. There's a hex pivot on the back. Steel on this uh, guy is S35VN, made in USA, of course. Um, this nice knife is really interesting. I tend to like the blade shape on this a lot, and even when it's closed, it's just really nice looking. Centering is a little bit off, I believe, to the show side, just by a bit. It's not rubbing or anything, but it definitely is noticeable. I like this pocket clip. There's not a lot of um, ZT logoing on it. They didn't mud it up with their logo or anything. Just a titanium spring pocket clip. One thing I do wish, and I think it would have made the knife pattern flow better on the handles, is this cutout for the frame lock. It's external. I wish they had done an internal cutout. It just would have made this knife look a lot nicer. Um, it does have a hardened steel lock bar um, interface, so it is going to not wear out as quick if you were to just have um, a plain titanium lock bar, so there's a hardened steel interface in there. The detent on this knife is actually really incredible. That's what I like about this knife, and um, it's actually, I've never dealt with these ball bearings that are ZT having this knife before. All my other bearings were the blue ones um, with the big balls in them. No pun intended there, guys. Keep it clean. But, uh, this one has the silver ball bearings, and they're a bit smaller, and they're caged, too. Um, I don't know if these are new for ZT, but I'm used to the blue bearings that are a little bit thicker, and they're made out of plastic. These ones are all steel. But uh, this knife has a really nice compound grind here, which is really going to give you the ability to use a thinner edge back here or a thicker edge up here. But that's what a lot of people are saying. But I don't really notice a difference in the edge per se. I notice it in the steel for the thickness, but I mean, the edge is like the same thickness. It's not a thinner edge anywhere. So keep that in mind. Overall, my thoughts on this knife are it's really a cool design, but you're either gonna really like this design or you're absolutely gonna hate it. I think it's gorgeous. Some people might think it's just too obscure. I actually got this in a knife trade. For someone who thought it just looked too futuristic versus something like, uh, let's just say, your Rat Model 1, which is really plain. It's just got, I don't know if this is G10 or um, FRN, but it doesn't really feel like G10, but I'll do a review on this soon. But it's a little futuristic for some people, and some people might like that flair of design going on here for the design choice. Overall, this knife... Might fit in for EDC, but I don't see a lot of people really wanting to use this knife because maybe they might think it's too pretty. Some people might use it. I'm not really going to want to use this knife. I'm going to carry it to show it off to my friends because honestly, it's kind of like a showstopper here. It's really nice looking, but some people might use it. I'm just not going to. I do like, though, one thing. There's only one screw type hardware showing on this side. And that's just this pivot, this uh, decorative pivot. But otherwise, all the screws are on the lock side, which is really nice, and it makes the front really clean. The only thing that's taken away from this cleanness is really just the screws for the pocket, uh, the screw holes for the other side, so you can carry it left-handed. But that's about it. Otherwise, this knife is really just really nice and gorgeous. It has a really unique blade shape to it. Um, that's something about GCC Knives. He does a lot of custom work, and uh, Gus does anyways. And this one really brings out significance in ZT being able to make a really nice production version of a full custom knife, which some people 
can't afford. I'm, I'm only 17 and I don't really have a couple thousands of dollars to just spend on a knife. So this knife is gonna be out there for people who really like some of Gus's work, but do not have the money to spend on a custom knife. And I think for about 220 bucks, it's totally fair for this knife. You're getting a good steal. You're getting this really unique flipper tab, the spring-loaded tab, which hides when in the closed position and keeps it out of your way um, in your pocket so you don't have a pocket pecker. But uh, really nice, really generous lanyard tube so you can fit just about any cord through there that's going to be specific for lanyards. I'm not a lanyard guy, so um, lockup is really solid. One thing, and I heard a, a couple other people say this, is they stonewash this blade, okay? Which I'm not complaining, it looks great. It's gonna hide scratches better than a satin blade. But the grind, could you imagine, without this being stonewashed, what the grind would look like? I mean, I had an 0562 CF, and the grind lines from the CNC machine were really nice. Um, but if they had kept this unstonewashed, it would have been even nicer. It would have brought out the grind lines in the knife. But that's it for this review. I got a couple more coming. Thanks for watching Outdoors Exclusives and uh, check back in with me later.